as we roll on with our Buckeye road trip around the NFL, Jake Arthur, a senior analyst, covered the Indianapolis Colts for Ho- Horse Shoe Huddle, is here. And as he's here with us, we got Paris Campbell recently. Another Buckeye is in Indianapolis. Another Buckeye who people are hoping, hoping, plays all 17 games and continues to get better and have some has a, has a sustainable t- time and career in Indianapolis. It is Tyquan Lewis. Jake, welcome back. And Buckeyes in Indianapolis, man, they can't seem to st- play a full season. And I hope mm-hmm. this guy, this young man, Tyquan Lewis, can put it all together this year. Yeah, kind of, kind of like the same story with Paris Campbell, like you mentioned. It's, um, it's just kind of been a, a what if thing, and he's, a, he's been a really nice player, but unfortunately, can't shake the injuries. No, he cannot. Uh, he went on, the, he went on the IR in November of 2021 uh, with a knee injury. In March of 2022, a few months later, he ended up signing a one-year deal worth three million dollars. What was your thought when you saw that that deal went down? Yeah, I'm I'm glad they did it. I thought it was good for them. Uh, at his peak, when he's able to perform, he's a perfect lineman for them. Uh, he's got the athleticism and explosion to play outside, but also the size and strength to play inside. So throughout his career, they've been able to move him inside and out, uh, just kind of a, a chess piece. Never a star, but a, just a very adequate player. You know, he's probably going to get you a few sacks every year, some tackles for loss. Uh, equally good against the the run and pass. A very good player. Uh, it's it's just uh, it's concerning with the knee injury. You know, I I, I still probably would have done the deal with him as well. It's okay. it's a low low risk, uh, decent reward type of thing. Uh, but the the patellar injuries, those are tough. Uh, those are real tough. Um, there was actually some studies done that that is the most difficult injury for NFL players to come back from. <laughs> And, you know, whether it's a year or two after, there's kind of a, a long list of guys that have kind of hung them up um, afterwards. You know, Victor Cruz, LaCharles Bentley, Cadillac Williams, Jim Leonard, Brandon Gibson, and Gerard Mayo. That, that's kind of a, a significant list of players. Uh, but there have also been some some redemption stories there. So it's not like all bad. But uh, it needs to be understood that it's not like a modern ACL injury. Like this is pretty tough. Um so he he could come back and, and rebound and be himself, which would, of course, be great for the Colts and him. Uh, I, I think the Colts were eager to give him that chance to come back and prove himself and be healthy and give them some versatility on the line. Uh, so, yeah, it's it was a, a decent move for them. They're welcoming in a, a new system defensively. Uh, there's still a base 4-3 front, and Gus Bradley is going to want guys who can play inside and out, just like Matt Eberflus did before him. Um, but yeah, Taekwon, if he's healthy, he, uh, they need him. Uh, they, they've got some defensive ends, but you know, they, they need some experience. I haven't really marked him on my roster that I keep track of as someone to keep in the plans quite yet, just cause you don't know what he's going to play like or what his recovery is like. Um, but if he could be that one reliable pass rusher that they need, you know, just a depth guy. Uh, then that's going to be really good for their rotation because um, the, they, they have some young guys. So yeah. having a proven guy like that would definitely be good. With the Colts bringing in Yannick Ngakwe and then having Quiddy pay um, the rookie from, well, second-year player from last year's draft, do you see Tyquan Lewis being in the backup role, kind of the first defensive end off the bench um, mm-hmm. to kind of either back up one of those two guys? Yeah, so I, th- I think obviously Ngakwe and Pay would be your starters. Uh, right now, I, I mentioned that roster that I keep track of. Um, if Taekwon is healthy, I have him as either the first or second guy off the bench because uh, okay. their their second pick last year was Dio Adengbo, mm-hmm. uh, who that's he's kind of he's another edge player that can play inside as well. Um, I think they they would definitely be willing to give Dio a huge role if he could handle it, which would you know put Taekwon down a peg. Um, but no, if, if he's healthy, I would see Taekwon as, you know, situationally the first or second end off the off the bench. Do you think he'll stay healthy? No, excuse me, not do I think he'll do you think he'll stay healthy? Is it likely that he'll be ready for game one this year? Because you talk about how delicate and that well, not delicate, but how severe this injury is and how hard it is to come mm-hmm. back from it. Do you think with that in mind, he'll be ready for game one? 
That's really tough to say. Um, I haven't heard much about his recovery yet. Uh, you know, maybe next time we talk to Frank, uh, that that might be that might be a good point to touch on. But I I just have no way of knowing. If if it was an ACL, I'd say you know there's a chance he could probably be ready for week one. But that patellar's tough, and I haven't heard any updates on him since it happened. Uh, it, it did happen midway through the season, so it's not like it was a mm -hmm. December January thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that certainly helps. Um, a lot of knee injuries, they're back under a year. So we'll, we'll see. That, that'll definitely be one we have to monitor. Yeah, man. I really yeah. hope, just not just for him, for Paris Campbell. We talked about him previously, but also for Taekwon Lewis. I mean, you just want these young men to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what it is, I mean, I don't want you to have an injury or have something happen to you that would mess up your career covering the Colts. And I would hopefully, for all these players, I just would like health. I understand if you're not capable of being the talent, your talent is just not there to make you a starter. I completely get that. But I at least want these young men to be healthy and have a chance mm -hmm. to be on the field to make a name for themselves so that they can sustain, hopefully, sustain a career in the National Football League. Campbell's had some injury issues, while well, a lot mm -hmm. of them, Tyquan Lewis has only played six, well, a full season with 16 games in 2020. Outside of that, he's, the most games he's played in a single season was nine, which is in mm -hmm. 2019. And then his rookie year and last year, he played eight games. So you're just hoping for a clean bill of health, and that's it. Mm -hmm. If he's healthy, if he's healthy, do you see him playing? It's the same thing I asked about Paris Campbell. Do you see him playing 10 to 12 games um, this year if the knee is okay? Yeah, uh, he's he's not really someone they've made like a healthy scratch or anything like that. Uh, other than his second year, his second year was weird. Uh, he had, I don't know, just like a nagging injury he couldn't quite shake. He wasn't quite himself in that second year. Um, but no, uh, other than that, if he's healthy, he's on the field. Uh, they rely on him pretty heavily. Uh, he's a guy that could probably get you five or six sacks in a full season. Uh, so yeah, it's... If if he's healthy, he'll I imagine he he'll be on the team and he'll be an important part of the defensive line rotation again because he can do so much. Um, he can play both interior positions and he can play on the outside. Uh, so they'll they'll use him if if he's healthy. Last thing for you here, really quickly. I know he's on a one year deal. I'll talk about that at the beginning um, when you and I first started our conversation. Do you think he gets another contract at the end of this season? Um, yeah, if he, it's kind of dependent on a couple things. Okay. Um, I would think regardless, they would have interest if he stays healthy. Um, but it, it's just about price. Uh, cause if Dio Odangbo starts to live up to, you know, his billing, they fell in love with him. Uh, if, uh, if Odangbo starts to blow up the expect, Quiddy Pay was already good as a rookie. So, um, you know, and Gakwe is on a one-year deal as well. Um, it just depends who else they have and how those young guys are performing. If they need Lewis, then, yeah, I, I think that puts a, a slightly larger price tag on him. But at the same time, they know he's only played a full season once and that he has a knack for getting injured. So I don't think he'd be, like, a huge priority, but I definitely think they would be interested in bringing him back as long as he's proven himself. Jake, glad to have you back, man. This is fun. A little off-season talk yep. with you. Hope to do it again next year. But for the meantime, where can, where can people follow you on Twitter? And then where can they read some of your stuff as well? Maybe you'll do a player, player profile on one of these two guys, Paris Campbell mm -hmm. or Tyquan Lewis, that Buckeye fans will love to read. Yeah, so uh, both on Twitter and Facebook, you can find me at Jake Arthur NFL, uh, And also all my written work is on horseshoehuddle.com. Uh, that is uh, si.com and, and Fan Nation's Colts website. So, you know, I'll, uh, I'll find your way through there. We kind of we kind of try to be a one-stop shop, Colts stuff, uh, get creative with some film rooms and, and some player analysis and things like that. So uh, hopefully if you guys come visit, you'll uh, like what you see. It's fun, man. Fun time in the offseason. Get to catch up with, talk about some former Buckeyes and see what they're going to do in the NFL. Paris mm -hmm. Campbell, a Colt. Tyquan Lewis and Indianapolis Colt as well. Two players I'm excited to see, two players that Buckeye fans loved, and I'm glad we can get a little early taste about what we can see from them next year in the National Football League. Jake, thanks for coming back, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.